Hello everyone, welcome back to all the crazy things in Kerbal Space Program 1.12, my stock science mode explorations where I'm increasingly building larger and larger rockets. And here we have the tender for Spaceship 2. Uh, Spaceship 2 was launched to Joule in the previous video. And it's been a while since I posted another video, but that was because I was in flight sim mode. And so now I am back in KSP mode. Well, I'll be alternating between KSP mode and flight sim mode. And we continue with this. So this is supposed to refuel, well, okay, that up there is supposed to refuel Spaceship 2. And of course, because she, Spaceship 2 is larger than Spaceship 1, we need a larger tender. And that's why we have this gigantic rocket with uh, boosters, which each have nine vectors. And then on the core, we have the Rhino. And yeah, it's big. Uh, it is basically the same mass as the Saturn V rocket. So uh, that's the special in stock. Uh, so uh, it is still the dual window. Let's get it launched and see how it goes. I've auto strutted the boosters. Oh, they're still wiggling though. Hmm, auto strutting, maybe not enough. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, the Rhino stage is supposed to send it over to Joule. That's the transfer stage, actually. The boosters are mainly doing the work of getting it into orbit, though the Rhino will have to do some of that. I think I'll... Yeah, we'll just leave it be. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and... Is that throttle working? No. Okay, launch. Oh... What is going on? Why is there so much lag? That's... I didn't expect there to be that much lag in stock, to be honest. I didn't think this would be too much. Maybe it's waterfall? The plumes? I thought waterfall was efficient with the plumes, but... Maybe this... Oh, wait. I, maybe it was the ground effects. It seems like it's going faster as those dissipate. Okay, it was all the smoky stuff. Hmm. Some mod must be affecting the smoky stuff. Uh, maybe it was waterfall, maybe it's something else. Now it's green up there, so... Yeah, that was... Uh-oh. Hmm. That's suspicious. Okay, alright. We, we've had a few things happen here. I'll just put struts... I'll just put... Uh, auto strutting is not good enough. Fine. I have been informed. It's always good to check it though. I don't want to overstrut. I'll put four though. That was pretty drastic. Four per booster. Okay, throttle up, SAS on, and launch. Well, these effects are gonna be bad for a little while. And then it might still all explode, I don't know. Once it gets full physics, is it gonna always explode? Okay, full physics now. I'm gonna try and turn. I didn't even try get to try to turn last time. Okay, we should be through max Q now. Now let me throttle down a bit. Don't want to get too hot. Of course, it's just a fuel tanker, so we have enough Delta V. It's just a matter of how much fuel we actually deliver. Okay, booster set. And Rhino. The engine on our tender is the Wolfhound. This is the first time I'm using the Wolfhound in this series. And, uh, yep, we just needed more thrust compared to the Poodle. And, of course, it has it. I don't gen generally like to use the Wolfhound because it seems wrong. It looks like the service propulsion system on Apollo, but it doesn't act like the service propulsion system on Apollo, which wouldn't have this... I mean, NASA, I guess, would have loved to get this kind of ISP from that engine, but, uh, well, they wouldn't want the 
the thrust or the mass. It has four times the thrust of the service propulsion system on Apollo. It has quite a lot more mass. I forget exactly how much, but probably on the order of about four times the mass. And it gets way more specific impulse. So it's like, I don't, I don't know what it is. But it's nothing like it, except it looks like it. I uh, probably should have tossed it a little bit higher up, though. <laughs> We're falling again. Let me just cut it right there, and then we'll circularize at that apoapsis. But, you know, at least we didn't explode. I put some reaction wheel power on here. I not only put a small, a medium-sized reaction wheel up here, but also a full one. But that's not enough to turn all of this, apparently. Fortunately, I also put some of... What? Wait. These. The Verners. Okay, at long last we are in orbit. We have 1,982 meters per second left. Let's see if that's enough to transfer to Jewel. It should be. So, it was properly designed, I swear. It's just the trajectory was a little bit off. So yeah, I do want to make big things in the series, but I don't want to, like, overdo it. You know, they should be the right size for their job. The spaceships have a lot of extra stuff, though. But the launchers, I want them to be the right size for the job. Not just meant to be big. Okay, well, it says start burn, like, immediately. But then it's got us pointed like that, so that's not good either. Burn time, 8 minutes. Yeah, we're over here. The burn is over there. Maybe we should do the burn in two bits. I think we'll just have this nominally be the thing, and then I'll replot. Uh, maybe... It, it's a little bit off, though. Okay, let's not go into the atmosphere. Oh, I think I've gone far enough. Well, I mean, it's a two-hour orbit. Maybe I can make it a full two-hour orbit. Okay, two hour orbit. And I will replot. Well, yeah, it'll cost more than we have in the stage, but that's fine. We'll just finish up with the tender itself. We'll probably do a mid course correction to get better in line with the moons because we're like that right now. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And then we'll figure that part out. All right, going round, Kerbin. Round we go. And ignition. Okay, so 92.3 short. But uh, that's fine. Time for the wolfhound. With all the fuel, it's got 7,300 meters per second. Nothing's locked right now, though. So we don't want to use all of that, that's for sure. We want to deliver some. Okay, here it comes. Oh, no, a little bit more. Okay, well, basically as planned. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, shoot. I pressed Z instead of K. Uh, I mean X. Z instead of X. But maybe we can RCS it. We don't have a lot of mop propellant considering our size and our need to dock, but... Okay, mid-course correction plot. Let's see if we can interest one of the moons. Well, we get an encounter with Lath in the wrong place. That seems too finicky to- oh, there's a capture. Okay, capture and another pass by of Leif for some reason. And then passing by Leif the second time, it flings us out again. 
Well, that's just great. If you really wanted to pass by Leaf twice, but then not capture Round Jewel, that's the way to go. Uh, but, all right, 1.8 at the mid-course correction, and the tender is on its way with its load of fuel. Out it goes. Here, we'll get the... A nice cinematic shot. They both have make course corrections. We're gonna do them tender to his first. Now, of course, ideally we would want to refuel stuff using landers, getting fuel from the surface of like bow, Paul, or Bop. I really should have sent a space plane over to Lathe, but we'll get there. I think I still need some things unlocked before I've got everything I want for that. Still got some science to harvest. Okay. Okay, well, that looks like sort of minimal inclination. A fairly good capture orbit. And not crashing into Lathe, because it's out here. Our current path would be going through Lathe's atmosphere, which is not good. Okay, so that will be the correction we do when we enter Jewel SOI. Alright, so this is all set up. Let's take a look at Spaceship 2. It's a marvelous spaceship, but I, I can do better. We will have even more interesting ones, I assure you. The lag on launch worried me because I feared that I couldn't make them as large as I wanted them. But uh, turns out it was just a smoke, so... Alright, so with this one we also had a lathe encounter planned. Okay, 1.5 off in inclination. Seems like a good capture, though it might be interfered with by some of the other moons. And... Confirmed not crashing into Lathe, though it's a little bit closer than the other one. Alright, and just a correction of 4.4. So, this is on its way as well. Let's meet up with them in Jewel SOI and get them all set up. We are in Jewel SOI, though uh, where the green planet is hanging out, I'm not sure. Let's just quickly do this burn. Really need that flat, though. I don't want it tilted like that. Okay. So, we appear to have a capture. We have two degrees of inclination with respect to Lathe at least, and we're not re-encountering Lathe immediately. So we get in in 17 days. Well, uh, that's the 17 days to the new periapsis. 12 days to Oh, I guess I plotted this a little bit in on Jules SOI, because that's pretty quick. So 12 days, and then the other mission does not, I think, get in before then, but let me check. Yeah, we've got 19 days till the tender comes in. We're doing the juggling act here. Not as much of a juggling act as some other things. Okay, we had lost a solar panel over here, so we're sort of inbound. I'm just going to retract this solar panel, darn it. Uh, I guess not. We need as much power as we can get. So, we've got the magnetometer report. I think I'm going to transmit that and do it again. The gravity scan we can just put into the lab because we had done that before. Um, temperature scan the same, atmospherics, and infrared telescope I'll send... Mystery goo straight to the lab. Material study straight to the lab. Okay, well the lab sure fit a lot. Let's uh, reset all the experiments. Let me run the magnetometer report again. And we'll store it this time. Oh, no, now it's full of data. Alright. Well, it's not really full full, it's just that the magnetometer gives a lot of data. So start research. So we are now accumulating 36 signs per day here. We haven't even landed on anything yet. Okay, on we go. 
There's Jewel, finally. Okay, and... Up oh, there we go. Late SOI. And we're not crashing or anything. Let's do some science. And we can store that. We can store some of it. But I don't think we can store all of it. I'll just transmit the gravity scan. Probably... S no, we're full up now. Much science to do. So, we are passing by Lathe, and then we will have captured around Jewel. We have to be careful not to accidentally uncapture. We're crossing Tylo and Val's orbit as well. I haven't really decided where to put this. We ultimately want to land on Tylo with that, if that works out. So, maybe I'll just lift directly up to Tylo's orbit. And we'll just start with that. Could give it a shakedown cruise to Val or something, but no, we'll just go straight for Tylo and see how it goes. The tender doesn't have to meet up with this yet. This still has 1,003. Well, I don't know how much it's going to take to capture around Tylo, so we'll see. For now, we're lifting our orbit to Tylo's orbit, and then probably the other mission needs attention at that point. The tender will need our attention. Oh, somebody got upgraded. Now we have the maneuver option there. That's good. Okay. Now I have locked the fuel in here. Well, not in the baguettes though. So that's a bit dodgy. Gotta be careful. So this will put us in line with Tylo and things can go horribly wrong as a result. You'll have to keep an eye on it. For now, we're a little bit out of phase. Okay, let's check up on the tender. Okay, entering Jewel SOI. Okay, correction burn looks okay. We're passing by Leif, just like with the spaceship. And... We can target the spaceship. Just to keep an eye on it, if nothing else. Alright, so it's 12 days to periapsis, but since the spaceship might accidentally encounter Tylo, I'm gonna jump to it and see how it's doing. Okay, 12 days. That's three orbits. Three chances to accidentally encounter Tylo. Okay, there's the tender coming in. Just want to see what happens after we pass. Ah, we've got a Tylo encounter. Okay. Well, we might not need the tender to rendezvous with us if we can capture around Tylo easily. And we can. So, I mean, this has 946, so it can do the job. We'll just have the tender come over to Tylo, too, and top us off. So, what we just need to do is... And that's in six days. We just need to make sure that we get a little bit closer. We don't want to have a high periapsis, I don't think. We don't... Well, we do care where we land, because we want ore. Okay, let's get out of time warp. So, let's see. Is there enough ore at the equator? Seems like we could find an equatorial location that has ore, so I don't think we need to increase our inclination. So in three days we do a 2.9 meter per second burn to get closer to Tylo so it's easier to capture. 45 kilometers up and we will capture into a low orbit and that will take well, I'll take all our fuel. So, but we want the lander to have an easy time of it. So that's what we will do. That is the plan. 
Okay, capturing Ron Tyler. But that's in three days, and we should pay attention to the tender coming in to Lath SOI. Okay, so there's the flyby of Lath. Not doing any science with this. And off we go. Very blue late these days. That's Neptune levels of blue right there. Okay, well, we've captured into orbit and we're re-encountering Leif apparently. I think what would be good is up here if we also tried to get up to Tylo level so that we can rendezvous with Spaceship 2 at Tylo. That seems to be the plan. Well, we have a Tylo encounter over there. It's having quite a lot of effect. But we should make sure that we're going around the same way as the spaceship. Otherwise, there'll be havoc. And I forget which way the spaceship is actually coming in. So, okay. But uh, that's a tentative burn. So this is going prograde, counterclockwise. Nice and equatorial, just like the spaceship will be. And let's check on the spaceship. So this will be in two days, seven hours, we've got a burn at Apoapsis. You are going... Prograde as well. Okay, so everything is set up properly. Then let's do this. Oh, we're already full of science. Well, time to see if we have enough electric charge to transmit it. Should do. I put a lot of electric charge on here. Okay, all good. Okay, and a little bit more. All right. Looks fine to me. We'll have like a hundred meters per second left afterwards though, so we're really committing to Tylo here. Okay, Spaceship 2's head for Tylo, and now let's go back to the tracking station and do the maneuver. Oh, maybe I accidentally passed the maneuver with the tender, did I? Oh, I passed the maneuver with the tender. That's okay. Um, it'll just cost a little bit more and be a little bit messed up. <laughs> okay. Whoops. I mixed them up. We're going. This one was supposed to be done first. Uh, now this has some inclination. Whoops. Okay, so that's our correction. Okay. You just touch that up a bit. Alright, so that should be fine. And that arrives. It's a little bit high, but uh, that's fine. Three days and three hours. Three days, one hour for Spaceship Two. All right, here comes Tylo. Let's see about sciences. Well, we're already full up on data, so... Not gonna get anything new like that. How's the accumulation? 257 already. Alright, let me give it a little bit more time. Ignition. All right, we have captured into a nice low orbit. As expected, we have about 100 meters per second left. So it's properly situated. Let us see about Tender 2, which is already coming in and looks captured, but isn't really. 
No, well, we shouldn't be too far out of phase, but we our inclination is a little bit off from the target. But so we'll just capture into a loose orbit first here with the tender, and we won't rendezvous them immediately. Uh, we might need to do some stuff with the lander, and maybe having the tender at a high orbit and keeping it there might help out the possibility of it getting to the lander if necessary. So all we're looking for is that much, just a hundred really, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, well, things are not looking quite right here. Darn it. Where do I get the visual mods that won't make a mess of things? <laughs> That's just a mess right there, right? Yeah. Okay, we should have captured. Yes, we have. All right, so both of our missions have captured around Tylo. And next video, I'm going to attempt to land on Tylo. And we will see how that goes. But I didn't put a whole lot of margin on the lander. And I'm probably not going to put a Kerbal on it. But then again... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about the Kerbal business. But yes, we have captured around Tylo. We've got extra fuel here. Lots of extra fuel, in fact. So we can supply the Spaceship 2 with plenty. But we'll see how the landing goes, and that's going to be interesting. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.